Welcome back teachers. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a quiz that includes multiple choice or true false type questions. From your Google Drive, you can select new and go down to more and you can choose a Google form. You can choose a blank form or for a template or just click on Google Forms. You can also get here by clicking on your waffle and choosing forms. From here, you can go ahead and title your form. And click up here, and it will put the title of that form there for you. You can choose which folder you want this form to live in in your Google Drive. So maybe I want this quiz to be in my chemistry folder, and so I will move it there. Another thing you want to do as soon as you're getting this set up is decide how you want the settings to be for the form. Right now, I have mine restricted to only the users that I have within my organization. I can also choose to limit this to one response so my students can only take this quiz one time. And I can choose if I want them to be able to edit it afterwards or not. Another thing I want to do is I want to come over to presentation and I can decide to show my students a progress bar as they go or even shuffle questions. For this purpose of us setting up a, a digital Scantron, we want to leave this setting off. For quizzes, I'm going to choose and make this a quiz so that I can enter an answer key. I can choose to let my students see their results immediately after they submit or I can choose to give them back later after a manual review by me. And I can send them back after they've taken it and after I've made sure everyone who was absent has completed that quiz as well. Again, you have options to select missed questions, correct answers, and point values so that your students can actually see those questions. Click on save whenever you are done. From here, if you want to increase uh, cause yourself to use a digital Scantron, then what you need to do is take a copy of a quiz that you may already have. My suggestion would be to go in and to to get a copy of your questions, you'll open your quiz and you need to use some type of screen snipping or screen capture tool. Because I'm a Windows user, I'll use my screen snipping tool, select new, and I'm going to go ahead and select the questions that I want to be multiple choice. I need to save this image, and I'm going to call it my matter quiz. And now I can come back to my quiz. I want to add an image and I'm going to now upload. I can come to my pictures and search for matter quiz. And my questions will now be in my form. And I can title this little picture, answer the questions below on the digital Scantron. From here I will scroll down and I can click the plus sign to add a new question. My new question is already here. I'm going to change the answer type to a multiple choice grid and I'm going to call this question one. Hit enter. Question two and just keep going until you have all of yours in. You could leave it as row if you'd like. And then for your column titles, this is where you want your multiple choice selections to be. So we'll have A, B, C, and D. I can come in now and I can create an answer key. So if I know that question one is going to be A, I can set all of the answers to whatever they should be. And I can also change my point value. Click done whenever you are finished. And then you also, the quiz usually will default to set the questions to be re required, but you can also do that in your preferences. 
So again, you have your questions and you have what's called like a digital Scantron. What the student will see, they will see your questions and then they will see a digital Scantron that they can go back and answer. Another way to use this will be to come in and insert another image. And if I have question types that require classification or true false, like this question, I can do a similar thing for this. So I'm going to select new. I'm going to screen snip these questions and I'm going to save them as my matter quiz two. Now when I come back to my form and I need to upload, I can get my second quiz image. Now that this image is in here, I can do pretty much the same thing where I'm going to add a question. And in this question, you have a few options. You can still do a multiple choice grid. You could do a checkbox, a checkbox grid, um, but this will work just the same. You could do a drop down um, in the same way. So here we have question six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. But this time, my first choice was physical change and my second choice was chemical change. Hit enter and type in your second choice. I would go over to the answer key and again, I would choose which answer everything was supposed to be. Click done when you were finished. And now if we go up and preview, Our students see our multiple choice questions with their answer document. And now they see this classification question with another answer document. So they will answer and then submit right here. Now, because I did this from my drive, this matter quiz has been saved in the folder that I chose to put it in, which was chemistry. So from my classwork tab, I can actually come into classwork and create and this time I can call this an assignment. And what I can do is add from my Google Drive. And many times your, your recents will be right there, but you could also search for whatever the title is. Or you can go pull it up within. Okay, so the matter quiz is here. I can add it. Now Google does recognize that I set this to be a quiz. So therefore grade importing turns on. That allows you to click a button and pull the grades from the quiz directly into your classroom and send them back to your students. Change all of your settings, apply a topic and a due date if you'd like, change the point value, give it to some students or all students using the drop down menu, and then choose to assign it, schedule it, save the draft, or discard it. You don't get the options for those until you have given your assignment a title. Now that I've titled it, you can see that you have the option to go ahead and assign, schedule, save, or discard altogether. If you just X out right away, it will save a draft of your quiz in your Google Classwork section. And you can see here it is as a draft. It's gray and so it's a draft. Another way to create a quiz is from the Classwork tab, you can click Create Quiz Assignment and Google will go ahead and give you a blank quiz that has quiz settings applied to it. Grade importing is automatically turned on. If you wanna edit this quiz from here and create a brand new one, you can click on it, and then you can do the same thing from here. It's just that now your settings have automatically been generated for you. So if you click on the gear, you'll see that it is already a quiz, but you may want to review the other settings, such as when to release the grade. Using the little three dots, the snowman off to the right, if you click on your preferences, you can choose down here to change a default quiz point value. Right now, many of them default to 10 points, so you can change that. 
And you can also choose to have all questions be required. If you'd like, you could collect email addresses as you go, but if you create the form within Google Classroom to share with your students from there, it will automatically do so for you.